what do we do with all of the suffering in the world? What do we do with Jeremiah, whose own people became his enemies, tossing him into prison and then into a well to die, when he wasn't even guilty of any wrong? What do we do with a man like Job, who lost his wealth, his health, and his family, even though he was a righteous man? And what do we do with David, who lost his identity as a person because God abandoned him? No matter what answer is given to explain suffering, we have to admit that Jeremiah, Job, and David all suffered. There is no logic that will help us to make sense about what is going on in this world filled with pain. Does God just plug his ears to the cries of people in pain? No. Instead, God took on ears. God created everything that we see, and then he became one of us. And being one of us means that he suffered like us. Jesus went around trying to help people see that they are not aligned with the way of God, and that if they don't change, destruction would come. Jesus wept when they didn't listen. And the people grabbed him and threw him into the earth, his tomb. Jesus knew what it was like to lose everything. He never had wealth. He never even had a house. And when Jesus was in the greatest of need, his friends abandoned him. And then he lost his health when he was captured and beaten. Knew what it was like to be surrounded by enemies whose greatest desire was to pierce his hands and his feet, to leave him weak and dying, to treat him as though he were already dead. Jesus knew what it was like to feel like God does not care for you. Jesus understood David's words when he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? died. God, the author of life, died. The light of the world was thrown into darkness. What do we do with all the suffering in the world? We look to Jesus. God has suffered as we do. Jesus didn't come to teach us how to deal with our pain, but Jesus came to suffer with us. But the story isn't over. Jesus did not stay dead. The tomb did not remain closed. Death lost, and life is found. Pain is real, but pain is also redeemable. No matter what we face, we know that God can use all suffering for a greater good. We know this because Jesus proved it. God lived it. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Loneliness, anger from God, pain, death. God experienced all of it.